Good evening to you. Great to meet you. How are you? All right, thank you. How are you? I'm fine. And what's your name again? Gladys. Oh, that's great. Great to meet you. Okay? Yes. Good. Now, what I'm going to do is uh, I will sit down, okay? You don't mind? No. Good. Now, what I'm going to do is uh, some close-up magic, all right? This is where the cameras come really close, all right? And the first thing we're going to do is the thing with four little stones. Have you seen this before? Little Chinese stones. These Chinese are very clever. Have a look at those, all right? Would you do that? Make sure they're okay. Nothing radically wrong with them, all right? Can I put that? Can I put that just about there? You don't mind, do you? All right. Now you can play this game in three ways. You can cover them up like that. You can cover them up like that. What I prefer to do is cover them up like that. All right. Once I've covered them up like that, I take this and I do that, and a strange thing happens. Did you see that? Should I do that again? What you do is you take them here, you do that, and that happens. All right. I'll do that again. You can do it like this, and it goes like that. You can do it like that. It does that. You can do it like that. It does that. You can do it like that, and it does that. And that's chink a chink. Quite easy, really, isn't it? Now that the applause has died down, I... <laughs> what I will do is... I'm going to show you a rather strange thing now with a piece of cotton, all right? This is cotton, all right? What we're going to do is take a piece of cotton about a yard long, if my nose hasn't grown, all right? What we'll do is take this from here and break it, all right? Now, once you've broken it, will you hold that for me? That's great. What I'm going to do is take them, this, and break it into separate little pieces. One. Two. Those of you who can't hear it break, just watch my lips. <laughs> now, I performed this trick for 400,000 people once, and the person next to me loved it. <laughs> <laughs> what I do is take these little pieces and roll them up into a little ball. Now, I must do this quick before the dove dies. There's a dove in there, but don't touch it, or else the ferret will kill it. <laughs> the object of the trick is to take the little pieces and place them onto this piece and tease them, like so. Once you've done that, you take an end, like that. Yes, it's worked. Would you hold your hand out for me? No, the clean one. <laughs> Would you grasp one end? That's great. Watch this very carefully. Would you take the other end? That's good. Just sort of tease it. Isn't that strange? Thank you. Now, you've examined that piece of paper, right? Yes. It's a piece of paper with 3, 2, 1 on. Rather appropriate. Now, watch this very carefully. If I take this and fold it once and fold it twice, next, you take from your pocket some invisible dust and sprinkle it. Once you've sprinkled it, you fold it over again, like so, and again. And on the last time, it starts to change shape. Looks rather like a five pound note. Would you agree with that? That's true. <laughs> the man's coming up How are you, Ted? How are you? Great, mate. Good, good to good, see you good, again. Looking good. very, very sharp as well. Listen, that mystified everybody, that close-up magic there. It's All really right. something else. And I'll tell you what, we're going to play back on the old recording. Uh, I want you to talk us through that because none of us know what it's all about. It it's going to so come much. up here now. Right. Show us what it's all about. OK. Three, two, one. From this angle. As you can see, I'm folding it up. No tricky moves. No nothing. Go in the pocket. Get the waffle dust. <laughs> sprinkle it over. <laughs> fold again. Fold again. It's just starting to take shape now, as you can see. Five pound note, just about. Too oh, late. You've get away. It. I've missed go. it. It's no good. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely superb. And what Thank are you going to leave these folks, Wayne? As I've a got a, an aerosol can. OK, that's the clue this time. And the rhyme is, a week's hot sun, the air is high, draws many with the urge to fly. Yeah, that's the second one. And we're going to say a big thank you to Wayne Dobson. Thank you, good Ted. luck, Wayne. Thank you very much. See you indeed. again. Bye-bye. Well, now, Andy, any idea about that one? Well, it sounds strongly like the holiday, but it could be too obvious.